Arcane Dorian has intensified to reach Category 2 status yet again. 100 mile an hour winds and a pressure of 953 millibars off the coast of Nova Scotia as of 3 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time this September 7th. With the change in intensity, the CDPS scale has gone up to stage 6 with a large storm size and the potential for 6 inches of rainfall over Nova Scotia. We're looking at Shelburne right now for the potential for devastation, stage 6 on the CDPS. Here is the storm's location at this time, tropical storm force winds extending out up to 270 miles in the northeastern quadrant, 43.1 north, 64.4 degrees west. That puts it 64 miles from Shelburne in southern Nova Scotia, 117 from Halifax, 196 from New Glasgow, 208 from Moncton and 299 from Sydney. Naturally, hurricane warnings are in effect along the coastal regions of Nova Scotia, the uh, ocean-facing coasts, and also for parts of Newfoundland. Hurricane watch still in effect for Prince Edward Island and Magdalen Islands. Tropical storm warning in effect for larger parts of New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, uh, Newfoundland and Labrador. Looking at the rainfall expectations over the next five days, here it is again, the pink area showing rainfall expectations of over three inches and that is quite widespread across um, Nova Scotia into New Brunswick moving off towards the northeast. Nova Sco uh, Newfoundland sorry, probably won't get quite as much rainfall as Nova Scotia but still could be quite a bit, up to three inches. Sea surface temperatures look like this around the storm, it is fast running out of energy from the sea surface temperatures already dropping to around 19 degrees. Uh, the storm bringing a lot of influence with it though, keeping those water temperatures a little bit warmer. Um, there is the storm moving towards the northeast over the next few days. It will lose hurricane force winds by tomorrow, but for the time being it is a category 2 on the Sappho Simpson scale and could be packing winds in excess of 100 miles per hour along the coast. That will start to decrease as the post-tropical transition completes, which it is getting pretty close to doing so far. So very soon Dorian will no longer be a tropical hurricane, but will still contain hurricane force winds. These are the chances of tropical storm conditions, pretty much 100% in Halifax, 94% at Corner Brook, 70% at Moncton, and 18% in St John's on the eastern coast of Newfoundland. The storm will of course move off towards the northeast over the open Atlantic. Uh, no updates on RAM today because they're experiencing an outage but from the earlier models you can see what they were expecting. One or two suggesting that it might just have got back to category 2 status very briefly and that has happened. Wind shear going through the roof, um, sea surface temperatures dropping off a cliff, relative humidity not very relevant. Its general trend towards uh, the Atlantic after that takes it over the north part of the ocean and eventually towards the Faroe Islands. Here's how the storm is looking at this point. You can see the remnants of Dorian's eye, only a lower level circulation because the convection from the higher cloud tops is blowing well towards the north of the center of the storm. I'm not sure whether we can even call it an eye or not. That's open to interpretation. The convection really fizzling out in the last few images there on this infrared imagery. Um, but the influence from the storm is massive at this point, extending all the way from Maine to the eastern tip of Newfoundland. The southern side intaking dry air, so it's very dry on that southern side, although winds are still going to be rather strong. The northeastern side is where it's at, and hurricane force winds are likely occurring along the coast of Nova Scotia at this time, and will also occur on parts of Newfoundland. The wind field will continue to expand over the next few hours, so now's the time to hunker down in these areas if you haven't already. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com. You can also find our YouTube channel if you're not there already. You may well be. Good chance of that. Subscribe if you haven't. You can also find our Facebook page, search Force 13 all in text, and our Twitter handle, it's at Force 13 on there. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. With a special thanks to these people for being our most valued patrons this month. 
You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show Force 13's colours wherever you go. You can also find a link to our Discord server underneath this video in the description.